lose to nothing to the Seattle Kraken. That is the sixth game in a row the Chicago Blackhawks loses. This game was an absolute disgrace. Especially with one of the greatest Blackhawks in all time history in the building. Yes, number 81, Marion Hossa, was in the building tonight, signing his one day contract to be with the Chicago Blackhawks to retire officially as a Chicago Blackhawk. It would have really been nice to see Haas play tonight, but we know he can't. He's a Hall of Famer. He doesn't need to do much anymore on the ice. But big news came out today. Video will come out tomorrow on what happened. It was the announcement the 81 is officially retired by the Chicago Blackhawks. There will be a game next year for Hossa's jersey retirement. You have a legend in the building. Hall of Famer Marian Hossa is back. He came back the other night to celebrate Jonathan Taze's 1,000th game. I was actually at the game. It was awesome to, to, to see all of those former players, including Hossa, Seabrook, Sharp, Shaw, come out to help do the Silver Six ceremony. But tonight was Marion Hosa's night. The Hawks brought him back to sign him to a one-day deal to retire him as a Chicago Blackhawk. And then they made the announcement his number is going to the Raptors. But let's just talk about the game, shall we? This team, the Hawks, really could have used Marion Hosa. That's all I have to say. They just look lost. They don't know what they're doing with the puck. They were shooting when they should pass, passing when they should shoot. It was just flat out horrendous hockey by the Chicago Blackhawks. That's all I can say. Philip Grubauer of the uh, Seattle Kraken this year has not been Philip Grubauer of the Seattle Kraken. Of uh, Philip Grubauer of the past that we've known him as with the Avalanche and Capitals. He tonight came in. On a terrible team with a terrible record and terrible numbers. He comes into the United Center and shuts out the Hawks. This team, the Hawks, they just don't know what they're doing. Ever since the trade deadline, they have been garbage. This is our sixth game in a row that they've lost. It's starting to feel a hell of a lot like the start of the regular season. I get it. We're rebuilding. We're blowing up everything. But the way you lose, the way you compete, is not what you've been doing. Tonight was another game of just lack of lack a days of cold hockey by the Chicago Blackhawks. They look out there and they don't do much. They don't have what it takes to win a game, it feels like. It's ridiculous to watch, but I'm watching every single game ever through this, and it's going to be a tough run. But what the Hawks have been doing is this, I'm just saying, it. it's crap. They don't know what they're doing. So there were only two goals in this game. One came in the second period. One came in the third period with a minute and 40 seconds remaining by a bad shot with Three defensemen trying to defend in Lincoln and Lutz in a softy. The last goal, in my opinion, the defense had no effort and Lincoln dropped his glove. That's what happened. In my opinion, that's how it lost. Lincoln looked great tonight, but he had one softy go past him and that ended up being the final for this game. Total shots on net, 31 to 29 in favor for the Seattle Kraken. Face-off percentage, 56% to the Kraken, 44% at the dot. Power play, Hawks had four power plays, did nothing with them. Absolutely nothing with them. 
the Kraken had one power play. Total shots per period. This is where the backbreaker was. In the first period, 17-3 to in favor for the Kraken. Second period, 6-15 to in favor for the Hawks. In the third period, 8-11 to in favor for the Hawks. But they were one and done. Pass when they should shoot, shoot when they should pass. That's what they were doing, and it was just frustrating to watch. Hawks had a power play where they had a 5-on-3 attack, did nothing with it. Absolutely nothing. They gave the Kraken more momentum from it. So, let's get to the goals of the game, shall we? In the first period, no goals were scored, but the Kraken were really trying to press the Hawks and get this game out of hand immediately. The Hawks were on their heels in the defensive zone pretty much the entire period. I don't think they had a minute of offensive zone time in this first period. It was all Seattle moving the puck well, Kevin Lincoln and making big saves, and he, all he could do, we get us to this first intermission tied at zero goals. So that's good, but in the middle of the first period, they announced Marion Hosa's number goes up into the Raptors next year. It's officially retired by the Hawks. So that's good to hear, but nothing else comes in that first period that looked good for the Hawks. So we go to the second period, and the Kraken immediately come out with the pressure. At 47 seconds into the second period, Alex Winberg scores his 10th of the season, assisted by Ryan Donato and Jordan Eberle. This goal by Winberg, he gets the puck in the Hawks' defensive zone and dekes the living crap out of the puck, dangling Lakinen out of his pads, and it's 1-0 Kraken. Okay, this goal, you really can't fault Lakinen. The Hawks' defense just fell apart and gave up. Uh, let um, Wimberg walk in and dangle himself through and beat Lakin. In. That's it. In the second period, that was the only goal scored, but the Hawks started to find a little bit more momentum, started to find some game, but they were just shooting while they should pass, as I mentioned, and passing when they should shoot. They had a five on three power play. They get a power play. Go right to the power play off the face off. They get a four, the crack and get called for a four minute minor. So at that point, you have a five on three minute power play for two minutes. And you still have a power play for an additional two minutes after. What do the Hawks do in that five on three? Absolutely nothing. They let the crack and take advantage, move up, get the puck out of the zone, and the Hawks were doing nothing with it. They could not do anything with the puck. They couldn't get it in, couldn't shoot it. They were just passing, and it was re just frustrating to watch. Then the power play ended. We go to the third period. Hawks came out with a little press, and they were moving the puck well. Get another power play, nothing comes from it. This team is a joke. They had a chance on it, and Steph Jones rings the pipe, and that was it for the Hawks, really, because the Kraken come in to attack with a minute and 10 seconds, a minute and 40 seconds remaining in regulation time. Jordan Alberley gets the puck, goes down, and shoots it past Kevin Lakinen for his 18th of the season, assisted by Yanni Gord and Sainheim to make it a 2 nothing game for the Kraken. Hawks pull Lakinen, and the Hawks get into the low zone, move the puck well, almost beat Grubauer, but Grubauer gets the shot out, and the Hawks lose again. This is the sixth game in a row, sixth game that we've seen this team just lose it. They just don't know what they're doing with the puck. I'm sorry, it's ridiculous, it's frustrating, I know it's a rebuild, it's just going to be a frustrating time for this Chicago Blackhawks team, because there's no bright spots on it right now. It's just all they do, all they know 
is lose and not score. They just lost to the two worst teams in the NHL and the Seattle Kraken and the Arizona Coyotes in back-to-back -back games. So, round of applause there, Hawks. You don't know how to beat the worst teams in hockey, even though you're one of the worst. So, down in the comments, down below, I want to hear, okay, I want to hear your favorite moments of Marion Hossa because there's no f moment on this team right now that is worthy enough to talk about because they all they're doing right now is lose and it's just frustrating hockey so i want to hear what your favorite moment of marianne hosa's blackhawk career and thank you for watching the broadcast please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and most of all it's a frustrating time to be a hawks fan but we'll live through it and get back to great hockey someday. And let's go Hawks.